welcome back to another vlog. Today is a Monday vlog. I really like doing a good old Monday vlog. I'm really proud to be partnering with CBS on this vlog. All opinions of my own, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some coffee. I slept 12 hours last night and I'm still tired. We had a really fun weekend. I went to breakfast yesterday at like 10. I came home and I was just like lazy all day and I slept for 12 hours. We went to Billy Bob's. If you guys saw that on Instagram with the party bus or in the last vlog, it was so much fun. Went to breakfast and stuff yesterday and then I slept for 12 hours last night and I'm somehow still tired. <laughs> Isn't that fun? So I walked the dogs showered and I'm about to make breakfast and do my cute little morning routine but I always need my coffee for this so that's what we're doing okay I'm so tired we're gonna make coffee right now because I need it. So this is CVS Pharmacy's new exclusive Gold Emblem Fair Trade Certified Coffee. They have a variety of different flavors as well as forms. Because these coffees are Fair Trade certified, I feel good knowing that these products empower farmers and also protect the environment, which is so important. Okay, also something else I love about these is that proceeds from the purchase of these coffees also fund initiatives like training in sustainable coffee production, healthcare services, and scholarship programs, which is really cool. These are also at an affordable price with larger value size options available, which is awesome. They great flavors like donut shop, Colombian, French vanilla, and French roast. And you can only find these Gold Emblem Fair Trade certified coffees at CVS. And because so many of us live near a CVS, it's super convenient. This morning, I'm gonna go with, actually, no, I'm gonna go, mm, my two favorite flavors of coffee are actually donut shop and Colombian. I think this morning I'm gonna go with donut shop. It smells so good. So every morning over coffee, I do my morning reading. I go through like whatever kind of book I'm reading at the moment. Right now I'm going through 101 essays that will change the way you think. It's really good. And then I also journal and a lot of the times I'll like take notes on things or whatever. So this coffee line is available at CVS. You guys can shop online or in store. I'm just gonna do my little like morning routine, morning reading thing over coffee. You guys know I am a creature of habit and routine and I always grew up with my dad having coffee with him and he would be reading in the morning. So it's something that I just carried on as my own routine as a young adult. Um, so that's what we're doing this morning. It takes me like an hour to drink my coffee. I need to answer some emails. I'm gonna listen to podcasts, um, finish drinking my coffee and then I need to record for this week's episode. And then I have my Monday errands. Next week I'm in LA and I'm recording eight episodes. So this week is really just like prep stuff that I need to do. I'm gonna start podcast episode prepping today and I need to prep to record eight episodes next week in LA. podcasting guys all right i'm sending in this week's episode i just recorded intros outros ads we added a new segment onto the show at the very end where listeners can the fact that this don't mess with texas keychain is just like hanging outside of my purse um where you guys can call in and leave a voicemail if you guys need advice or have any questions or whatever but just finish recording that be sure to do that the phone number um is on our instagram everything that i just recorded did it record? I don't know what happened. Happy Monday, everyone. Happy Monday. Hello, hello. So I have to run an errand and I'm gonna stay in the area for like an hour or so. So I'm actually gonna go get work done at a coffee shop. Haven't worked at a coffee shop in like a year plus. I like never go anymore. I'm packing up my bag. We're gonna get some photos developed from this weekend to send in, which is exciting. We just have some work to do. That's what we're doing, we're about to leave. I feel so much better now that I have coffee in my system. Here's my mask, go. All right, I just drove 20 extra minutes so that they would be developed today. I'm gonna go drop my cameras off and get this show on the road. My summer 2021 look. All right guys, I'm off to get some work done, be productive, I need I just also couldn't focus at home, so I think this will be good for me. I have my new favorite work bag that I've been loving. Wow, this is what Texas heat does. So I got so much stuff done, I forgot why I go elsewhere to work. Nine episodes locked in next week when I'm in LA to record. I sent in a video um, to a brand. 
I scheduled the rest of this week. Mondays are really a lot of like catch up work, planning, things like that. I'm typically not filming a video of anything I'm vlogging, but I just really like using Mondays to like prep my week, make sure everything is set. And then Monday nights, I typically like to be very antisocial and read for like four hours. So I'm looking forward to that. I was staying in this area because it's kind of far from my house and I was waiting for the photos to get developed. And it's the one place that I can develop disposables that's like within like one or two hours. So I called them to check in that does disposable developing fast. Photographique right now is like a week and a half out and like I just am so impatient. I'm gonna drive home. I just need like a nice relaxing like refreshing day. It's the late afternoon. I ordered some lunch from McAllister's. I have some sweet tea here. Um, comment below if you like sweet tea. I feel like it's pretty polarizing. Do you think you can move maybe? No? I don't have a straw. Oh I got two mac and cheeses on accident. So Mondays are kind of harder for me to vlog just because I'm pretty much just sitting at my computer and like doing laundry and things that like aren't very exciting. But I wanted to give you guys my kind of like productivity hacks that I do weekly that I found really work for me and my schedule. I have a few different things that I do. So I try to focus like one day is on filming, one day is on editing, one day is on podcasting, one day is on whatever it is. And Mondays are kind of like my mashup day. Coco just will not stop. Okay, so while I eat, I'm gonna take a break and watch One Tree Hill. The other thing that's honestly become the main thing is just making sure that I'm like taking care of myself. So like today, I know that tonight I really just need time to myself and I need to read and do things that like recharge me and refuel me so that I'm ready for like the later part of the week. That's what I do. I'm gonna continue to watch One Tree Hill and eat my lunch and then get back on my computer. Exciting things. I got something on my shirt and my like handyman just came over to talk about fixing a window and also getting different lighting in this house and also dealing with my like AC stuff guys. I just, for the life of me, it's really just owning a house at the end of the day, but so much stuff that needs to happen. I got new Air Forces because mine are trash. Why do these look big? No, they're my size. Mine were so trash. I just had to get new ones. I'd wash them so many times and it was just time. I wear them so much. Beautiful clean crisp air forces love this for me beautiful i also got this bag off amazon which is the like bottega dupe everyone's been posting i don't really like buying knockoffs because it's like not good but i wanted to even see if i'd like a bag like this i don't know it was just different that was really cute i'll have it linked below um it was out of stock for a bit so i and i ordered it like a month ago and now he's here there's another strap as well it's really cute i think it's a fun bag now it is 6 30 i sent in my stuff I'm ready. Oh, who else like stuffs in a trash can as much as they possibly can until like they literally have no option other than to take the trash out? I'm gonna go change into pajamas, do my skincare, and maybe even start reading this. I swear to God, my Monday nights where I really just have a me night are the best thing that I do to prep for my week because for some reason, if I do that, not even for some reason, but if I do that, I'm just way more put together. It is only 7 p.m. on a Monday night, and I'm in bed, I'm drinking sweet tea, and I have never been happier. Oh my god, we got all the photos back too from this weekend, and they're so cute. Just posted all those on Instagram. So I'm actually gonna give you guys some of my recent book recs. I've been getting asked this a lot lately. I recently read The Best of Friends by Lucinda Berry, and I thought it was just okay. A few of you guys DM'd me and said The Perfect Child by Lucinda Berry is really good, so I did get that. I also recently got 28 Summers. I saw in a Facebook group someone posted saying that if you like Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, this is the book that's kind of most similar to that vibe. And Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo is one of my all-time, it's one of my all-time favorite books, so I immediately purchased. I read Malibu Rising, Taylor Jenkins Reid. I would give that like four stars. It's not my favorite book from her, but I did really like it. If you guys only know Taylor Jenkins Reid from Daisy Jones and the Six and Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, she has a lot of other like little cute little, well she has I think eight books. I read them all actually in like January. I like her cute little like romance books. They're really good and um, they're just like a sweet, good read. If you want nonfiction, I just read Cleaning Up Your Mental Mess by Dr. Caroline Leaf. I also just had her on the podcast. The First Husband by Laura Dave. I think I liked that one. The Last Thing He Told Me by Laura Dave, so good. Like one of my favorite books that actually got me out of a reading slump. Read People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. I liked it, but it wasn't beach read. Comment below what I should read next. I hope you guys enjoyed just this little Monday vlog. Um, this is kind of how I prep for the week, but my main thing that I prioritize, honestly, are my Monday nights 
where I just lay down and read and I don't talk to anyone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much to CBS for partnering with me on this video. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. My agent calls me and she's like, they're offering you more money. And I was like, do they not understand what no means? I said, no, I don't want to do it. I'm not doing it. No. And I learned some lovely negotiation skills. <laughs> Say no.